As we near Saturn, we slow to 99% light speed and fly over its ring system. Here we see the rings first bulge out beneath us and then curve unexpectedly as we pass over the outer edge. Looking back, the rings still appear distorted and the whole planet magnified as a result of our backwards motion, an effect which recedes as we decelerate. We now begin to execute a series of tilted orbits around Saturn, spiralling inwards towards it as we travel faster and faster. Despite this, angular contraction will prevent Saturn from appearing larger in the frame. Moving closer only makes the distortion effects on the rings more obvious. In our final rotations, we are orbiting directly above the outer edge of the rings. Parts of the ring system which would normally not be visible are brought into view by relativistic aberration, so they appear to swell out towards us. As we slow, the rings shrink back to their normal size. We will now fly between Saturn's rings and the planet itself at a relativistic speed. As we accelerate, we see Saturn appear to be getting further away, and stars that were behind us becoming visible as they contract into the frame. This is because of the effect of angular compression. Then, as we pass between the rings, they appear to flip inside out and bend over us as we pass underneath them. Accelerating further, our entire field of view again collapses to a point. We are now on our way out into deep space.